I think Marco Rubio is actually, along with Ted Cruz, benefiting from media overkill, because there's nothing that conservatives rally to so much as a conservative being attacked by mainstream media. Mm. And I, I'd be interested to know if you and SC agree with me that the pile on on uh, Cruz vis-a-vis -vis Carson and Rubio vis-a-vis -vis his repetition of his general election campaign themes isn't helping both of them. Mm -hmm. SC, what's your take? Yeah, I, you know, look, what Marco Rubio is doing is very strategic. For one, he wants to be the candidate who can win. And the numbers show that most Republicans coming out of Iowa who said winning was the most important uh, uh, priority for their candidate think that Marco Rubio, Rubio is that guy. So he talks about President Obama because he talks as an, a general election candidate. So he knows he's not actually running against Ted Cruz and Chris Christie and Jeb Bush and Donald Trump. He's running against four years of failed policy. So that's why he hammers that message over and over and over again. He also anticipates that Chris Christie, who also repeats himself on the campaign trail, was going to say, just like Barack Obama, Marco Rubio, one-term senator, comes in with without the right experience. Anticipating that, he pivots back to say, we thought Barack Obama was inexperienced. He knows exactly what he's doing. So all of this was planned. I don't think this was a, a mistake that that Marco Rubio had that debate stage. And the fact that no one emerged a, a winner from the night uh, means that that he he wasn't a, a loser. I don't think. I think I, I think he was exactly right that the attention on Marco now is good for him going into New Hampshire and South Carolina.